Hey guys, AJ here with Legendary Whitetails and today I'm just going to share a quick tip with you on how to fletch your own arrows. As you can see in front of me, I've got my arrow fletching jig. This one here specifically is from Easton called the Easton Easy Fletch. Um, you can kind of see how it works. Basically, one fletching is loaded into each one of these arms and uh, this one comes preset with a right helical offset. So. Um, for me personally, I think this is one of the most hunter friendly devices. There's a couple other ones that offer a little bit more customization, but um, this one pretty much is a throw and go type of, type of mechanism. You just load your fletchings in and you're pretty much all set. So other than that, you got your, your fletchings here. I'm just using two inch blazer veins. Um, and your glue is the other main ingredient. So I've got uh, the blue glue from G5. Uh, kind of a tongue twister there, but um, it's made specifically for inserts and fletchings. It dries really quick, um, starts out blue and pretty much dries, dries white or clear. So it really allows you to see what you're doing. So we're gonna get right to it. So I'm shooting, shooting blaze orange and white just because it's really easy to see. Uh, of course you can get whatever colors you want. That's one nice thing about fletching your own arrows. And then, just take one of your arrow shafts, and I've got a little little alcohol on this rag. Just want to clean that area off. And that's ready to go. And then you just apply your glue to your fletchings. So one nice thing about fletching your own arrows is that it allows you to keep a full quiver of arrows all the time. And I know running to the pro shop often becomes a hassle. So this little, I think the jig was 50 bucks. This saves you a lot of time, um, a lot of time and hassle. It just becomes a nuisance always trying to run out there for you know, one arrow, especially if you live way out in the country. So then once you got the glue applied, you just put the arrow shaft in and you wanna do that with a knock on because it'll seat itself home. There's actually a little groove in there for the knock to fit in. And then this one's spring-loaded. You just close that up. And then one more thing, you just slide the cap over the arrow shaft, line that up with the grooves, lock that puppy in. And uh, like I said, it all depends on your glue, but this one in particular uh, dries within about 10 seconds, so it doesn't take very long. You can move through your quiver, quiver of arrows pretty quick. So I'll just give it two or three more seconds. And we just pop that off. Release the spring. Slide this out. And voila, we have a fletched arrow. All you want to do now is touch up some of the excess glue that squeezed out. It's good there. And then you just also want to do the same thing on your on your jig so that doesn't end up getting glued tight on you or messing up where your fletching's going. Quick wipe down there, you're good to go. And then one final step I like to do is what some people call tipping and tailing. Just throw a little dot of glue right at the front end of each fletching and at the rear. And that's just gonna save a ton of wear and tear on your fletchings. Cause as you know, that's where they're, if you're blowing through targets, that's where it's gonna start peeling from. And it's also where all the wind drags come in, so that's where they'll just keep peeling from. So that little bit of glue saves a ton of wear and tear. Actually, might even make them fly just a little nicer because it gives a nice little gradient, but that's all there is. And as you can see, got a perfectly fletched arrow with the right helical. So, um, recommend getting yourself a fletching jig. If anything, it saves you a lot of time and trips to the pro shop and it always keeps your quiver of arrows full.